Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physics Club by Shakti sir. So in this lecture we will discuss about the time period of oscillation of a dipole in uniform electric field. So the diagrams are represented here. What we can learn from the diagrams that th these are the uniform electric field lines in blue color and the dipole is coinciding in the direction of the electric field which is denoted by P. Okay, so here the angle is zero. The angle between the dipole and the electric field lines is zero. But we need to calculate the time period of oscillation. So in this diagram, it is not oscillating, right? But if we just tilt the dipole with some small angle theta as shown in this diagram. So here we tilted the angle by some small angle in the anticlockwise. So what's going on now? The torque is acting due to the electric force. The torque is acting. We already discussed the torque. The torque is acting which is a restoring torque which is trying to bring the dipole back in the initial position something like this so the restoring torque which is acting in this situation you know that formula of torque right the restoring torque which can be written as negative of p e sine theta so we can write the restoring torque restoring torque which is acting which is acting on the dipole on the dipole to bring the dipole back uh, so torque as it is restoring so negative of p e sin theta but as we discussed that the theta is small or you can say very small so sin theta can be written as sin theta can be assumed as theta why we uh, give a small tilt to the dipole because then only it will come into picture that it is oscillating in this situation it is not oscillating to make some oscillations with the dipole we have to tilt it with some small angle in this situation now when the dipole when the torque is acting on this dipole it will try to bring back the dipole in the initial position but uh, due to moment of inertia it will move in the other direction here and start uh, I can say uh, after due to the motion uh, you can see it will come here again with sm some small angle again with some small angle theta and it will continue back and through in this situation so you will see the oscillation and we can calculate the time period of this oscillation or the frequency of this oscillation so very uh, straightforward question what is the time period of oscillation in this situation so we will discuss this so let replace the sine theta with theta then we have torque is equal to negative of p e theta so let's say this is our first equation now we have one more formula from the mechanics which is torque can also be written as moment of inertia into alpha right alpha is the angular acceleration and i is the moment of inertia of this dipole about the axis passing through the perpendicular bisector okay so we can write this uh, I which is the moment of inertia moment of inertia it is very important to define this moment of inertia of the dipole of the dipole about the axis about the axis passing through passing through the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of the dipole okay so clear alpha is the angular acceleration uh, angular acceleration correct okay so now we can write alpha is equal to tau upon i clear and let's put the value of uh, torque which is negative of p e theta upon moment of inertia so this is a very standard uh, result from the mechanics or you can say from the chapter of oscillation from the grade 11 which is alpha equals to negative of omega square theta this is the angular condition of angular acceleration condition of angular ascension okay so what we have we have omega square now is equal to p e upon i so it's very well defined now that is omega can be written as p e upon moment of inertia i 
so time period so th this is one of the result if they are asking for the angular frequency this is your answer and if you are asking for time period time period of oscillation then t is equal to 2 pi upon omega let's put the value of omega so you will get i upon p e so this is the result of this expression or of this numerical okay so this is the answer this is the result of this question i hope you will understand and it's a very uh, small derivation but it's very important okay thanks for visiting my channel do subscribe it bye bye